Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to cover creating a web page using Expression Web to present information that is contained within an Access Database. First thing you need is an Access Database, and we have one right here. It's a real simple database, it just has one table in it that contains a list of names with associated email addresses. So now what we need to do is create the page that we're going to present the information in. And to do that we click File, select New, and we're going to go with ASPX as our file type. First thing we should do is save that file. So we're going to go to File, Save As, and we're going to save that into the DB folder. We're going to try to organize our website a little bit here. We're going to type in testdb.aspx as the file name. There we go. Well, we're going to go ahead and just rename over top of that file. That's okay. And one of the things with using Expression Web is that there are a bunch of tools within the toolbox here that you can use that help you uh, create different type of uh, different types of content to present on your website. And one of those categories that they have on here is the data category. And inside of there, there's different types of tools to use to connect to different types of data sources. Now we're using an Access database, so we're going to use the Access data source. So we'll double click on that and add it to our web page. And from here, uh, all we need to do is configure it, and we can configure it by clicking this little arrow here and select Configure Data Source. And from here, we just need to point to where, there, where our Access database is located at, and we already have that copied up to the server, so we just click Browse. There's our database. We click Open. We click Next. That's processing the database right now. And here we go. And it shows us basically what are the different types of content that that's located within this database. So we have one table called emails. And inside of that table, there are a bunch of different columns. We have an ID column, and a first name column, a last name column, and an email column. So we'll select the different columns we want. We'll just use first name, last name, and email. And as we select them, it starts building the query that we're going to use to, to uh, extract information from this database. One of the other things that we can do is we can actually sort the information also based off of one of these columns using some of these tools over here. There's different types of queries you can create, but uh, we'll go with that. It's a real simple query. We'll just go order by and we'll sort by last name and we'll click OK and there you go it added this order by at the end of our query and now we'll go ahead and click next we can test out the query just to make sure everything looks okay it looks like it's okay and everything's in alphabetical order by last name we'll click finish and now we have our data source we'll go ahead and save this and just having the data source by itself is not really enough to present the information on a web page to people. What we need to do is have some sort of container to put that information into. And for that, 